What's up? What's up? What's up? Getting the one touch ready for the monster hit tonight, you guys. What's up, Dominator? How you doing tonight? Welcome to the show. We did five hours last time. I don't think it's going to be quite intense this evening, but it should be some fun. What's up, Danny Sparks? You know, this unwinding, long day, didn't work today. iPhone, you're quick to the party. I found this for you, iPhone. Going through some old, old stuff. I figured that'd be right up your alley. Crosby beat you to the punch on the... Uh, the 68, but I did find some other Clementes. I might do a stream of just, I actually have a lot of, um, besides all the stuff I got from Jeff, Joe. He punched me <laughs> All the stuff I got from Jeff, I got um, like a bunch of just like vintage stars. They're not like really PSA worthy. But they're still fun, so I might do one feed where I just kind of like showcase, see if anything wants, see if anybody wants anything. I actually have doubles of some some. This is a cool Reggie Jackson, Harmon Killebrew. But you see, it's not like per in perfect shape. It'd be like however many dollars. But oh, you got a Maris, a '68. Hey, hobbyist. I uh, hear you, Dominator. I hear you loud and clear on that one. Hey, CJ, what's going on, man? I got your package today from the break. I'll probably do like a little video. Did they break it? Break that yet, Joe? Or did they? Uh... Did they already break the Maris pack for you or no? Yeah, you packed it really well, CJ. If anybody's looking for any kind of break, CJ had an awesome one the other day. Check his channel out. Another car crew, brother. Oh, you and Junior? Okay. So you guys are going to – what are you going to do? Send it to PSA and split it and sell it or – Hobbyist, here's your sweet Bo Jackson from the other day, from Monday. You'll let me know, I guess, by end of tonight if we're sending this to Jeff or you want me to ship it to you. Anything else you get? And there's your Piazza. Hobbyist hit this on Monday night. Sharp, 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 sharp.
bunch of Hall of Famers too. That's hobbyist. Three twenty two guys split three twenty five or was it one way? Oh, I see. You took bottom three. I got you. And the and the Maris was on bottom. Yeah, man. We all we all know his pain. Dominator. Yeah, I actually got a couple of questions, Dominator, and I'll tell you what, for first person to buy anything, I'm going to buy a pack for you, brother. So hang out with us, have fun. First one to get a pack, I'm going to buy a Dominator pack because he's having uh, some issues that we've all been there. Some of us may be still there right now. Hey, Mets fan. Quatos, what's up, buddy? Quatos checking in all the way from Minnesota. All the way from Minnesota. Hey, Quatos, I got I want to run an idea by you. Since I'm obviously back in the game. Sort of pun intended. I have a lot of, uh, I'm really trying to get a bunch of new stuff. And I have like a lot of vintage, not not the stuff I've gotten from Jeff. That stuff's like nice, nice. This I got a lot of vintage, like, I don't know. If I had to guess, which I'm not an expert, I would say, you know, PSA four, fives, you know, in that range or even lower. Um. So I was wondering, maybe I'd, I might, not tonight, but at some, at some point I might bring up, bring out like all the stuff out of the archives and maybe do like a little, little auction and be a way for some people to get some really cool looking cards cheap, you know, that aren't really like just to have, you're not going to send a PSA unless you want to have like a, like I said, PSA three or four or five. Uh, this one right here, the 70 Reggie Jackson. It's sad that like everyone goes to the Reggie, even though Harmon Kilbury was a straight beast and if everyone would have paid for the Yankees, we'd be talking about like, you know, him instead of Mantle. If roles were reversed, if Mantle was a twin, not Kilbury, you know what I mean? What's up, Miranda? So, you know, for basically like some cards will only be like three, four, five dollars probably. I think that'd be fun to do. I mean, I got a ton of them. Just showing a couple of them now. Here's a here's a Yaz 1971. And it's they're not in like this terrible grade it because you know, there's like a little bit of Where the camera works when, I'm, when no one's around, the camera works. Yeah, Killebrew went ham. I love Killebrew. You know, it's not just like like that. So there's probably a lot of people out there that want to have cards like this, but don't want to buy it in a PSA quality. So I might, I might, uh, I might dabble one night. If you're Quatos, you're a, you're the vintage master. What do you think about that idea? Uh. 
I got a couple in front of me. I'll show off. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot, Joe. Are you doing sets, Joe, or are you just kind of like a little bit, a little bit of that? Cool, Danny. I'll, I'll, I'll probably be here. Probably won't be the five-hour marathon the other night, but it'll be something. I know you like this one, Joe. That's your boy. Aparicio. It's not as nice as the one I got from Jeff, but it's still, it's nice. Shows all about that one. But like I said, I have like Actually, just another, another Jackson, same card. So I might do that one night. Might switch it up from some of the packs. I know you do. Might switch it up from some of the packs and do like some nice star, cheap vintage auction, something like that. Hey, Cleveland Car Creek, man. What's going on? Yeah, exactly. Triple C. Triple C. I don't know. Maybe tonight turns into the vintage uh, the vintage show off. All the low end PSA threes and fours you can get a vintage. I love that triple C. Be a sweet intro video, like a triple C. Uh, I uh, what did you get today, triple C? Little Robinson. Man, poor Robinson. Not that you I mean. Best hitters of all time, but so close to 3,000 hits, right? And then it's just, it's about like past two years, last two years was just like he was, he was trying, he was trying, he was trying. Brooksy Brooksy, the other Robinson, the other, other Robinson. Hang on, before I lose that, Joe, let me. Let me copy what you put in there before my phone. I'm going to shoot you a text now. Joe, give me a second. So you got me. I called you. I sent you a text. Crosby, what's up, man? <laughs> I tried to send the search party after you the other night. I sent emails, smoke signals. I was about to send some pigeons out. Maze, Aaron, Vita Blue. I got a nice Vita Blue I saw. And Crosby, I got your... I still got all your stuff, so I didn't know if you're going to get something else. I'll throw it all in. And Crosby, if you want, we can. I still have your stack of flares sitting here that you got. I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm East Coast, too. I thought maybe you were West Coast. These are all Crosby's. And actually, Crosby got this sweet. Uh, can I show off your Clemente? Joe's a little jealous. Joe's a little jealous. Yeah, the flare is sick. However, I did give I did give Joe first crack at this. He hasn't made an offer yet. I did give Joe first crack at this. Yeah, I did. I saw I saw this morning for your Clemente. Yep. I got it right here. 
I'll ship everything out tomorrow. Plus, if you get anything tonight, so I'll, you'll get everything hopefully. I can never keep it this frozen. Yeah, it's nice, nice. Uh, this one's a little bit better condition than some of the other vintage I have. Oh, well. There we go. See, that's pretty good. Home and pension speed racer style. <laughs> yeah, I figured this fell asleep. Not that the not that the live wasn't riveting. We're having a lot of fun. Crosby was doing the uh, do a little Crosby recap. The yeah, Clemente is nice. It's not it's not bad in the center either. Crosby was hitting Jeter's. And Jordan's like Oprah. Future stock. Insert. Road to the show, Jeter. And then another one. What's up, Peyton? Another car crew member in the house. So is that cool, Crosby? Well, we're... I did not know if you wanted to open any of these yourself, or let's just... Since you're already gone, I'm going to continue your flare before somebody, before somebody else jumps in. See if you can get your nice Bo Jackson, a nice PSA 10 Bo Jackson, like hobbyist got. I saw another guy, Um, was it Elico? Yeah, Elico 3. Awesome car guy. He was opening like 87 or 88 Fleer. And he had like gloves on. I think the video was from, I don't know when the, forgot when the video was from. There we go. Let's save my brother. Cool. And he, uh, he was like, yeah, he's sending like, he's starting to send all Hall of Famers like from that era, like the 80s and 90s to PSA. So I was like, yeah, that makes sense. If you got a bulk account and you can get it for like eight bucks. And you find you get packs and boxes for cheap, then all of a sudden the cards worth 50, 60 bucks. And, and most of these, if they're stored properly, like these flares that are Crosby's are sick. Look at that gleam. I mean, that's just like brand new. Sorry for the glare, guys. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it handled. I said hello. Hey, David. Hey, Quittos. I had a question for you. Um, I'm going to run through this pack first about some vintage stuff I have. Winfield. Let's leave the Winfield up. Even the checklist is like gold embroidered. Why is somebody crying? Chris Royals. <laughs> do tell yeah I, I gave you a bunch of props you weren't even here I was like Quetos is checking in all the way from Minnesota Poison Salud Brett Butler On my list. Joe, I told you the Clemente. I was gonna let I was gonna let Joe have first tips on this one, but maybe maybe Joe's gonna text me. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, good. We gotta you gotta you gotta put out fires. I got you. I understand that. We'll sleep up your Winfield real quick. Look how big that man was. Was it was he like an eight sports star? Badminton, water polo. <laughs> I think he did it all. Oh, you text me? Okay, cool. So, Quaidos, I have um, I have a lot of like, I've been getting like better quality stuff from Jeff because that stuff's like pack fresh. But part of like my personal arsenal that I've been pulling out from 
the deep archives. I have a lot of like, I don't know what I would call it. I'm not sure what is it, what is it like good? It's not poor, you know, but I have like a lot of uh I don't know what they would get, PSA threes and fours of like vintage stars. Something some people I even have like twos and threes of. Like here's Jackson Killebrew, Jackson Killebrew. And I kind of want to spread the love with people that's getting back into collecting that never had a shot at these cards since they still look pretty good. Maybe I'll do like an auction where I'll have like I don't know, a hundred or two hundred of these suckers. One, two, three, four, five dollars each, something like that. It's kind of an idea I have for those that can't really afford to get into other stuff people are doing. Yep, I got 68s. You missed a Crosby got a uh can I show I'm gonna make everyone jealous again. You should probably just keep this out. Krause got this from me the other day. Bob Clemente. This one's actually a little bit of a better condition than what's up, Yankees? Your stuff went out today, brother. I know I know you're a 68 fiend, yeah. Winfield, let's see if I can get this back up a little bit so we can see what I'm wanting. Oh my God, I let uh, 20 bucks. That one's in pretty, that one's probably in a little bit gradable shape. I got that from, that's a recent card I got from a card dealer. I like to buy in like bulk when I go to these dealers, especially if no one's at their table. And so, I'm just guesstimating I got that one for like 20 because I'll put a bunch of stuff in, then I'll, I'll keep adding, adding, and adding, and then usually with bulk, I can get things cheaper per card like that versus just buying it straight up. Okay. Yeah, 20 bucks, yeah. Yeah, I'm here to spread the love, guys. If you saw the video I posted today, this guy selling like similar packs to this. That's a cool Vince. Like packs for like $2, 250 Oh, Hamilton. These are in the, obviously in this. If, if anybody doesn't know, check the description. You'll see how much all these packs are. Most of them are 75 cents. You pay shipping. A couple different options. Free shipping option. Yeah, for the Clemente. Yeah. Card crew discount, man. You know this. Wally Jorner. Jose Mesa. Uh, my friend pointed out I. Uh, I inadvertently called Jose Mesa a 20 game the other day. I got him confused with Jose Lima. Rest in peace, Jose Lima. <laughs> I actually offed, uh, I offed Jose Mesa. I think I said Jose Mesa, rest in peace. Kidding, Crosby. Hey, super. Yeah, Lima time, exactly. I was at an Orioles game uh, with the same friend like uh, – God, 15 years ago, 20 years, I don't know. Lima was still playing. Yeah, I forgot what team I forgot what team he was on at that point, but he was in the outfield actually talking to some guy about golf. We were like two feet from him. That's a cool Dwight Gooden. And they started chanting at him like, Lima sucks. Then Lima started like getting back in the crowd, and it was fun. Love Expos cards. Take a look at the doc. What kind of career he would have had? Oh, look at the uh, look at the batting on the back. That's kind of cool. Was he was was Doc a hitter at all? Yeah, Jose Lima. Um, yeah, he won twenty games. I think he went like twenty and thirteen or twenty and fifty or something like that. Twenty game winner. Anybody know? Did did Doc good like rake? Oh, sorry, sorry guys. Did that was that good a good hitter? It's got the eye of the, eye of the tiger right there. Look at that face. <laughs> Sick of guards, yeah. I know what you mean. What's up, Boggs? Yeah, I got a couple questions. I uh I'm not prepared as much as I would have liked to have been for the trivia because I gotta have my partner here with me. Mrs. back in the game to help keep score and time because obviously with the internet, everybody can look up a uh an answer, so I have to keep like a, a strict kind of like time 
time limit, you know, like five, ten seconds. That's probably going to be the way to do it. But I got a, just a couple questions. Cuckoo. Yeah, past six months, one of my rooms we just like exploded with cards. I find the organization is big deal. Get eight bombs, nice. Well, I like to do high tens. I'll look up and see like who, who hit the who he hit the bombs against. For some reason, it's like something I like doing. I do have the one touch ready, guys. So if someone hits that mantle autograph or the Aaron autograph or the Schmidt autograph or one of those PSA ten hundred dollar cards. The free look at that sweet Henderson. Nice. I want to sleep this Henderson up. Henderson and the A's. Never looked right when he was um, in other uniforms, you know? Do you guys feel that way? Like when a player leaves and then all of a sudden he's wearing a different jersey? Like Ken Griffey Jr. in a White Sox jersey looks so unnatural to me. Be like Cal Ripken wearing, I don't know, a Reds uniform. I got a, I got a lot of Ripken rookies, Joe. You looking for like the tops multiplayer one, or are you looking for like the tops traded single player rookie, or like eighty two Donruss? I got an eighty two Donruss set, Joe, which that's a sweet Ozzy Smith too. Yeah, Willie Mays in the mess uniform, exactly. Yeah, Maris is like, uh, I wonder what if, if you didn't, if you guys haven't watched that movie, 61, about the, the chase with uh, Maris and, you know, obviously the team with Mantle and everybody, Chase and Ruth, that's an awesome movie. 61's the best. Barry Pepper plays Mantle and just slays it. <laughs> You're talking about Judy Ruth. <laughs> Sabo Flair and the Clemente. Yeah, the Clemente is sweet. Double. They got some other ones too. Maybe I'll do that one night, guys. Maybe I'll do like vintage jingles, you know? Allow me to keep growing this channel. Oh, Canerco, man. Um,. Yeah, Dominator. I forgot uh, someone. I think Crosby, definitely. Crosby, you might have two or three of, like, the Canerco rookie, like, minor league in, in what you got. I got sitting here. Maybe you want to donate one to Dominator. It's uh, Dominator. It's such a sweet George Brett. Like, right here, this thing, I mean, PSA 10, it's probably going to get, like, 30, 40 bucks. It's like, I think it's like a road to the show, Paul Konerko, uh minor league card. Steve Avery. Yeah, exactly. Yep. <laughs> it was cool, though, Krause, because um, Eddie's through the mail. Eddie's through the mail ended up, like, popping in and getting some packs and stuff. So we, so we, kept, it, we kept it rocking and rolling. We still have stuff to do. <laughs> we kept it going. Nice. Get it, Quatos. See you, man. I crushed the venue drop. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. If I get enough, once I get, if I know enough of you guys will be there, I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely do, maybe do like an auction like that. Would have been so sweet if Flair could have had uh, 
on card autos. That'd been awesome. These things are so nice. Yep, hobby guys, sure am. And I still have your stuff, so it's just whatever the one. I'm guessing you'll probably do the premium shipping. You just got to do it one time since all your stuff will ship with it. Uh, I don't think so, Joe. If you, Joe, if you check the description, if you scroll down, I, I might have I might have deleted it since this is the only ninety. So it was this ninety two? It's the first flare. This is the only ninety three flare that I had. Um, at arm's reach. I think I deleted it from the description. From what I saw was like the Bo Jackson that hobbyist hit completed sold auction sold for 110 bucks in a PSA 10. And most of the Hall of Famers in like PSA 10 sell for like 50 to 60 from what I could tell. I don't think the uh, I don't think there's a Piazza card in this set. But we did hit a Piazza several times in the 92 Pinnacle or 93 Pinnacle. Thanks, Sheffield. I'll show you, Joe. It was uh, – here's Hobbyist. Hobbyist hit one. And so did, um, so did uh, Eddie through the mail. Sweet rookie. Yeah, I think uh, Crosby. I think he wants Canerco. I think you have a. Uh, I think the minor league cards. I think there's like you might have two or three lurking in there. I've had to go. Fred McGriff. One of my earliest memories, little kid, and it was actually an antique mall, small card shop booth, and the guy was in there, and he probably looked at me as like a little kid. Well, I was a little kid, so anyway, I have a vivid, vivid memory of this. He had Fred McGriff wearing his Blue Jays. It was a, the Blue Jays rookie card. I want to say it was Don Russell. He had like a hundred of them like in a clasp case and i was like in awe that he had so many mcgriff rookie cards and he was like trying to explain to me that they're like penny stocks and that he's gonna like they're gonna be here and then you know they're worth this much now and then he has a hundred of them and yes i i believe with you yep i'm with you on that one joe and i don't know why that stuck with me things you remember right yeah, I mean McGriff never was was uh, accused of like juicing, was he? Yeah, Joe, for sure. I'll text you, brother. I can't, I can't promise you that Clemente is going to be here though. Uh, I wonder, yeah, I mean if Harold, if Harold. Cat's going crazy. If Harold Baines gets in, nothing against Baines. I love anyone who played like a game for the Orioles. I'm like, I'm on their, you know, I'm team them. But I mean, it's like now that Baines gets in, it's kind of like everyone's going to play that. Well, Baines is in. This guy's going to get it. Baines is in. It's, that's, that's what I've kind of like been seeing online. Kenny Lofton, a lot of stolen bases. Reggie Sanders had an awesome career. You don't want to hear him talk about him.
Clay Walker. Let's go Sabo, or let's get a Bo Jackson, or like a sweet, like Ken Griffey Jr. or something. I've sleeved up here. Ozzie Smith, Ricky, and Winfield so far. I still can't get over these packs. Um, Danny, the set builder, also awesome new YouTuber. Check his channel out. He likes building a lot of sets. He's a Braves fan. He actually was like a, a little dealer back in the day in the early 90s. And he said he was selling these things for $6 a pack when they came out. That's nuts. $6 a pack. Yeah, it is. It's so It's so nice. And it's preserved them like really well for all these years. Like that, maybe like double layer. Sabo. Do you PC Sabo, Crosby? Not sure. Checklist. Paul Muller. Yep, it is. Yes, and that's a cool one, sure. Yeah. I also read somewhere, Arena, that through like the decade, I forgot how someone explained it, but it was something Kirk Gibson. It's a cool, it's a cool shot. That if you look at like the 15 year span of um like his heyday, Baines was like actually like top five in hits and top five in this, and during like a 15 year swing, and they were making the case that pretty much every player that led in those categories or were top five in those categories in any 15 year swing we're in the hall of fame. It was kind of a unique spin on it. It made total sense. I'm personally happy that he got in. I mean, what was it like 20 hits shy of 3000 and that's just like an automatic ticket. I mean, that's really going to come into play. I think Marcakis. You probably saw that video I did on Marcakis. I did a little video on, Autograph I picked up of his, and I think that's going to be the ultimate test. If Marquez actually ends up getting 300, 3,000 hits, is he going to automatically, is it, would he be first ballot, second ballot? I mean, how does he not get in at that point? Yeah, Jeff Kent's another one for sure. These cards are not sticking at all. Trevor Hoffman, that's like that. That's a nice looking car in his Marlins uniform. I like that. Wave of the future. Pat Listash, Tom Gorn was a beast. John Cruck, it's sweet. I love John Cruck. That's Martinez. Um, I think he said 68. You know, I'm not even sure what year this is. Because the one that you already got was 68. I think he asked me how much for the 68. And the 68 you already got. So I didn't know. Is this? I should probably know, but I don't. Tops. Is this a 68? Maybe he's asking about this. He didn't ask me. He just, he just, uh, he asked me how much.
Yeah, it's cool. I like Crook. Uh, Harold Reynolds. I thought we were going to get a Harold Baines. It is a 68? Okay. Okay, so he he asked me how much. Okay, so they're both 68s. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. That right there would grade. I mean, I haven't looked at it yet, but that Noel Ryan is sweet. I almost want to send you the pack just like this. What do you think? No? You want me to open it? I almost like you having the sealed Ryan like this. I don't know. What do you think? Griffin? <laughs> All right. The Sabo, watch the Sabo be in here now. Oh, Crosby, you missed it. It was it was so sick. I wish Eddie was here. So he did um in the pit in the in the pinnacle he did, he was trying to get cards to send through some mail and some Hall of Famers. And like the very last three packs, I called the Hall of Famer in each pack. Before I ripped it, it was it was so funny. Definitely got like the adrenaline going for the end of the night. Let's take a closer look at this one. Don't mind my webcam feedback. That's nice. Let me just put this in a regular top holder of no sleeve, and then I'll painter's tape it for you before I send it. I should fit in okay. Yeah, this is sweet. I think I'm starting doing that, too. I think I'm going to rip some of these. Like I said, I got, like, thousands of packs. I probably want to get some like things that's going to do like PSA 10 that I'll send them to Jeff and Missouri's card for eight bucks. And then just to have a collection, because you look, check the description, like some of these go for like some crazy amount, which I'm really, I wonder why, I mean, because if you can open up fresh packs then you should get, you know, some good graded stuff, but maybe a lot of these cards were thrown unprotected in boxes. I mean, I definitely know some of my cards were just like in bins that were like not sleeved or not anything. I don't know, Ryan. I got the the one touch is reserved for the, for the big daddies. Yeah, that was awesome. I gotta go back and watch that. That was that was that was that was so crazy. Out of all those packs you got, and it went uh, the the like the best cheater insert right on top. Phil Plantier. Anybody with the name Phil, I like for obvious reasons. You didn't know my name is Phil. Awesome. It's a cool horse dizer. Craig Biggio, back to back. Joe Carr. Now, Ryan's a big daddy for sure. Just uh, and that card probably like in a PSA 10 would get 60, 70 bucks. But if you look in the description, all those cards that I have kind of pointed out. I would, uh, that's what I'm waiting for. Like the Mantle Auto, the, the Nolan Ryan Auto in the upper deck, the Mike Schmidt Auto, some of like the bigger rookies. Or in 94 tops, there's some cra crazy top finest like refractors randomly inserted that are some self like a couple hundred. So kind of something like that. Hobbyist, I'm not sure if Hobbyist is still here. Hobbyist had the common of the year with the, uh, so I think it was Yankees. 
Yankees baseball cards like got some uh, 91 score. And Hobbyus is like, if he pulls the mantle out, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> that was so funny to me. Oh, yeah, Dante, go ahead. Um, my email is in the description. In the description. What's up, JVP? Good to see you, man. Yeah, or sorry, I had a, uh, I guess it's like my third time doing this. I had a, uh, another plant here. I had a, like a trial run, just testing out, like, just the live setup, because my first, that's a cool weight box. It was my first time going live with the, uh, that's, that's another thing, weight box and Yankees. It's like, weight box is a Red Sox, right? I mean, he's just, but there he is. Chosen five. Now, I think everything I do, uh, not many because I was out of the hobby then. I have a couple boxes laying around. Everything I have kind of like at my disposal right now for this stream is in the description. Darren Dalton, I think I saw that card a couple times. Bobby Bo. There it is. Oh, it's sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Just talking about that. I'm guessing we're going to open this one up, too. I'll sleeve it up. Only worry that when it's like the top card in the package, sometimes that plastic might bend it a little bit, but this looks okay. It's a sweet Griffey. That's sweet, sweet. I know they are. Bobby's getting paid for a long time. <laughs> uh, I was a Bobby Bo fan, though, for sure. There's another good one on back. I visited the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. I think I was like 10 years old or 11 years old, and I was wearing a Bobby Bo like, T-shirt jersey. I love early Griffey stuff. Look at that, back to back. That's what's cool about this stuff. You can get cards like this. Another Henderson. Let me sleeve up this Griffey for you. Put it in the top load. Griffey with 87 lifetime home runs. Griffey or Ryan. Another Henderson. Another, oh, look at that. Back to back to back. Guy. That's what's nice about opening these cards. Mint Griffey, followed by a Henderson, followed by Ozzie Smith for 75 cents. If you go to like the antique store, they're going to have all these for like 75 cents to a dollar each. Behind Smith, are we going three for three? Oh, uh, John John Burkett broke the streak. Matt Noakes, remember that guy? Yeah, Wizards the man. Ron Gantz. Duncan. Another good one. Another good one. All right, we got we're getting down a little low. That's Sabo. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
You know what? That that's all, that's actually an awesome question because there might there might be some kind of weird variation or something that I have like no clue about. Like if you look in my description, there's some card that I even gotta look it up. There's some card. Uh, let's see if I can find it. What was it? 92 tops I have, maybe? Let's see here. No, not 92 tops. There's some errors that consistently sell. Oh, 1990 upper deck Mike Witt variation in a PSA 10. I saw three, four of them. Completed sold auction $300. A Ken Griffey 1990 upper deck BGS 10 for Christine sold for $200. This is sold, guys, not like asking. So the Mike Witt just had like a black border box on it instead of instead of like the white or something. It was like such a small difference. And I'm like, wow, why is that is someone like collecting like the, the error set of that? Like is that David Justice? No. Three hundred bucks sounds like fortune money for like a Mike Witt nineteen ninety upper deck car. Mitch Williams, Wild Thing, Wild Thing. Broke my heart when he gave the home run up to Joe Carter. Is Vogg still in the room? Do we got a Vogg's in the room? What's up, Braden? Well, the thrill. There he is. Hey, guys. Everyone say what's up to Braden. He's my local buddy. He was actually with me. He caught the error in the George Brett back-to-back. -back. He caught the error with the Jose Lima, Jose Mesa fiasco. He actually caught it. Jose Lima was gesturing the crowd in a not-so- PG way. <laughs> Let's call it that. Oh, it's just not charging right now. Vogs. Hey, Vogs, I have a, a trivia question for you. Was it Jeff King? Wade Boggs. Was that who it was? How did I miss it? Noakes. Did I put it in this pile here, maybe? Yep, 20-game winner. Ah, I'm sorry, Crowd. I was going a little bit slow. I, I'm, I got two packs working for you here. I got to plug the laptop in real quick, guys. One second. Now fill out. That'll do it. All right, so cool. <clears throat> Box is all about the question. And Braden, if Braden's still here, Braden's going to give the answer after like one minute because Braden also knows this guy. Okay, must have been the other stack. 
Yeah, this is open for this is open to everybody. First one to get the answer right. It has to do with that Mitch Williams card. If you've been watching my streams, you'll definitely know the answer. There's I don't know what happened, Crosby. We got a missing pirate, Crosby. All right. Make sure I pause for the pirates. Okay, you've been watching my stream as you know this. Mitch Williams, I just said it, I said it broke my heart when Mitch Williams threw the home run to Joe Carter in the 93 World Series. It broke my heart because another Ryan in the pack. That's awesome. That is sweet. It broke my heart because there was a family friend playing for the Phillies. Who was that Philly? And you get a pack. Another Ryan. That's awesome. No, no Sabo. So talk about random sequencing, Crosby. Talk about random sequencing. No Sabo, but money meant... Money Mint uh, Ryan's. <laughs> nope, nope, Cruck. I, I would have loved, loved if it was Cruck. Nope. He had the worst teeth. <laughs> uh, I've definitely mentioned it three, four times because when one of you guys, <laughs> because when one of you guys hit, hit his cards, I like keep it. A jacket. I'll let you know that I'm jacking it, but because no one ever argues like me keeping this card. I think Eddie got like two of them. I'm going to try to get one of them signed for him. All right, Rand. Thanks for stopping by, man. I'll see you soon. Omar Fisco, Bobby Wood again. Wait. Ooh, there you go. That's a sweet card. I didn't even see this one when I was looking about Ways of the Future Manny. Little Manny rookie. Yeah, hobbyist, you got it. Hobbyist got it. Hobbyist pays attention. It's a sweet Manny. Ways of the Future. You guys see that video? Where like you know Manny being Manny and he's like stroking David Ortiz's face or something in, in the dugout. It's like the funniest thing ever. So funny. So hobbies, you got a pack coming to you, and you still get the uh, get five get one. It's still running tonight. Everything ships out tomorrow. I probably won't do this again till like. Probably like next Monday or so, something like that. Yeah, that's sweet. Waves of the future, man. You got you got another waves. So it was kind of like a, a unknown. You can't beat that. So let's, let's just cap it off with the Sabo. Dominator, we got a couple of like nice Nolan Ryan's. Got them both in top loaders. Sweet Ken Griffey, bunch of other Hall of Famers. These cards are sick. I wish I wish someone. I said last time, wish someone would buy Flair. Watch, and then kind of redo it. Like they're redoing. There's a nice Piazza. Is this is this got to be a rookie then, right? This has to be a rookie. It's the first time I've seen Piazza in this. Joe iPhone was just talking about that. Yeah. Flare rookie. That's sweet. Little Piazza rookie. That's funny. Yeah, we've just been still on the flare. Finish up the flare from the other day. Yep, Hall of Fame rookie card.
and then Crosby, I'm sending all these to you, right? And then if uh, whatever you want to do with Jeff, I'm not sure if you're going to get any of these graded or not. You just send them to Jeff. You, you definitely got like, I don't know, 10 plus cards to send in if I were you. Some of those Jeter and Jordan cards for sure. I do, Dominator. I have a, that's a nice look at the Big Mac. Big Mac. Probably you can go rent like a little stall in an antique mall and just put all these cards for 75 cents and make a profit. I do dominate, but right now everything like I have disposable that's on in storage is in the description. 2005 and I'm too much because I was out of the hobby then. Actually, I got back in for a little bit. Sweet McGuire. It's like when you see it's when McGuire was like transitioning. Transitioning to the beast. Okay, cool. Yeah, pick out what you want to send there because there's there is a ton. I can't wait till you get him back. I'm gonna send him. I'm gonna send him some too. I think he must be on the second round by now, right? The first 100 cards is already done. David Cohn. So cool, Deion Sanders. You a Ventura fan? That's so funny. iPhone leaves, and then we hit that Piazza. He was just like calling the Piazza rookie. Oh, it doesn't? What is it? Uh, is it? What does it say? Because this is 90, I already said, this is what, 93? Wasn't that like his tops card that had or the four-way, like, rookie on it? I remember getting that one when I was a kid. Nice John Smoltz on back. Hmm. I don't know. Look at what this. Does anyone even have, is, has anyone even sold, like, a 93 Flare, PSA 10, Piazza? I think it's the, this is the first year for Flair also, so. I don't know. I like to call everything rookie. Like the minor league cards that Crosby got, like those Jeters in there, to me that's a rookie. He's wearing his minor league uniform. I guess it's a prospect card technically, but. <laughs> you got the whole set, but Sabo. You got three, you got three backs left. <laughs> that's nuts. Mark McLemore, Big Mac, Great Oriole, Kent Herbeck. Uh, 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 oh, look at that. See what I mean? If you want it to come true, it comes true. <laughs> That's sick. Crosby, I need to know, like, the pick three uh, lottery tomorrow for, like, a couple states. And then I'll just play it for, like, three, four days, and it'll come out. That's so dumb. <laughs> I'm going to put this in a top loader for you because I know you like it. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's usually I'll receive. That was, I did that three times in a row last night. I was like freaking myself out. Seder. Like I said, I wore glasses when I played. So anyone that wore glasses, I was all about. I was, I was all about the Sabo. Look, Sammy Sosa behind. That's nice. And John Smoltz. So many good cards. Is there anybody left to get? You know what? I don't think we got a Ripken from Flair yet. I don't think we got a Ripken.
The goon with goggles? Really? <laughs> I actually played with a kid who, uh, you know what? I played with a kid who wore them. This is nuts. Two of them did. Check this out. One of my little league photos. Which one am I? For a pack, which one am I? However, check out if you can see the glasses on these on these two. Hang on. Eh. There you go. That's not me, but like talking about Chris Sabo, we used to call him that. He had more of the, the uh, Sabo glasses versus this kid over here. Isn't that funny? That's the feel I remember. <laughs> Hey, Brian, I'm going to make you a moderator. So if someone pops in, you can kind of tell what we're doing. You should be blue now when you type. There we go. Only two Piazza rookie cards. 92 Bowman, boo. 92 Fleer. What? So that Topps card, the Topps prospect card, like the four-way prospect card with Piazza on it, is not a rookie card. And then after he got drafted, it's crazy. Who died and made Beckett king? I know, Crosby. That's so funny. Crosby wanted the Sabo from, like, before we did the first player pack. He was calling for Sabo. What? I didn't know Goose was still playing then. Huh. Did not know Goose was still playing then. This is last year, I guess. Huh. Lee Smith. Finally in the Hall of Fame. Jeremy Burnett's Wave of the Future. Jim Abbott. Sweet. No hitter. No hand. Apples on my heroes. Yeah, they do. That's a rookie to me. To me, I'm like the old school, right? I look at the card, and to me, if they only have like one year playing, it's the rookie card. That's, that's how I go by it. Like, I get if it's like, the 2019, like, Robert Acuna, Ronald Acuna uh, cup card, some people might say, oh, it's a rookie. It says, like, all-star rookie or whatever, but it's not. That's a nice Maddox. One of Braden's favorite pitchers right there. A lot of control. Two packs left. I think we just need, like, a Ripken. Uh... Let me get out my tough stuff. And I bet you that's what I'm saying, yeah. Get out my tough stuff. I like tough stuff. Tough stuff was always like a thicker publication. I definitely have both. Nice boxes. Yeah, Premier Edition. Lankford on top. Yeah, they did start using this thing. Yeah, I, that's one thing I noticed when I got like back in. I was like, oh, it's like RC and everything. Which is crazy, right? So a hobbyist. So that means like like Vlad, his like Bowman stuff said RC on it, right? But the Bowman this year doesn't say it. Or his, I mean, his Bowman this year doesn't say my first Bowman because he's already had it. But I guess his, what, 2020 or I guess 2019 tops updated will say that'll be his rookie card right is that what it's how it's gonna work uh no not yet dummy i think we're, we're just running through the rest of crosby's purchase from the other night because the sand the sandman hit him in the uh before we could finish and then we'll be then we'll be oh the floor will be open juan guzman ah oh, that's a good picture Juan Gonzalez. Here you go. How about that? How about that, Crosby? 
Double the Sabo, double the fun, right? Chili Davis, Scott Cooper, Mike Devereaux. Yep. It took a while. Last pack. Last pack, Mojo. I like to see a Ripken in there. I just don't want to see what that card looks like. But when you think about it, it's almost like every pack had like a Hall of Famer in it, I think. If not two. And there we go. There's a Hall of Famer right on top. Now, is that... Is this a Pudge rookie card? A Pudge fake me out rookie card? Oh, no. Okay. That's right. That's right. It's rookie. rookie was the year before. Still a nice card, though. Crosby had to go through 15 packs of flair and enjoy that. Or more, actually. Another Sammy Sosa. Albert Bell. Former Oriole. Eh, big Papa Fielder. So sad when it's time to quit baseball. He mashed. They both mashed. So cracker time. Dante Bichette and his kids playing. I like these original Marlins uniforms. And Eric Anthony. There you go, Crosby. Hope you enjoyed your flair. You definitely got a lot of awesome cards out of it. And uh, there's there's probably Hall of Famers I didn't even sleeve up. That Piazza's sweet. Manny Ramirez. Love that Ken Griffey. A couple of Noel Ryans. Good man. We are hanging out, ripping some ripping some packs, looking for the elusive monster. Got the one touch ready just in case. Two Sabos at the end. I know, Sabo at the buzzer. Put your stuff here. The other things. All right, cool. Yeah, definitely. Jackie Robinson, retired, number, all of baseball, as it should be. I think that's the, is that the only sport, right, guys? Is, is there any other number, like, universally retired? Okay, cool, hobbyist. Ninety-four tops. Let's hit something big. Maybe we'll get something else you want to get graded out of there. Let me look up the ninety-four tops. What did I put in there? Okay, black card, black gold card in every pack with a chance of tops finest cards inserted. The tops finest cards are all money. Derek Jeter gold rook. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, gotcha. This has this has the um. So you get the Derek Jeter gold rookie. Rookie meaning it's like that four-way prospect card. With Derek Jeter on it. PSA 10 is going for 170. I saw a Bog sell PSA 10 for 100. A Nolan Ryan sell for 70 plus gold versions or more. The Piazza Cup card. This is actually it's a lot. 94 is kind of loaded. That getting that Jeter prospect card is probably getting the Jeter prospect card probably the biggest chase. Maybe the Piazza Cup's cool too. Let's see if I can move these down a little bit so you can see what we're working with.
One, two, three, four, and five. Five ninety four top sweet, and we're doing two packs to score for the bonus. Hope you can hit that mantle so you can pass out, and then you can just talk to me tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, Yankees would be so mad if you hit that. Sweet. Okay, got those. Yeah, crap in time. 89 tops, 89 tops. Um, I got boxes. If you wanted to do, do like a whole box, you could do a whole book, could do a whole box, 89. Crack in time is an awesome guy. He's been supporting me since like one of my very first subs. So check him out. Frost, Frost! I know there's so there's there's a lot going on. I didn't even think anyone would hop in to since I'm definitely the Javis has more Javis has more people watching him live than I do subs, but I figured I got my my dedicated few. We're doing something a little bit different, so thank you, man. Mayamo Frost. <laughs> Everybody, please sub to Frost and watch his card crew welcome intro video. It just slays. Slay, slay, slays. All right, cool. Crunch the box of the uh, 89. All right, let me, uh, let's do, let's trip 94 real quick and then I'll look it up because you definitely get a discount getting the whole box. No, no football. I open up a football. Uh, what do you want to do first, Hobbyist? Uh, you want to do your score, get, try to get that manual auto, or you want to do, uh, you want to do your 94, you want to go back and forth? Mayamo Frost. This just killed me, man. He's dead. Score first and the tops. Okay, cool. And then we'll be doing a whole box of 89, 89. All right, Mantle Auto, baby. One time. One time for the Mantle Auto. I might pass out, too. I'm not a wizard yet, guys, with this. At least if you guys watch my earlier on my early videos, at least this new webcam is like it's legit quality. So I'm thinking like what I told you a story how I read how these guys got, got the mental autograph out of the um they bought two cases and there was an autograph in one of them. So I don't know if that's like a good ratio. I guess there was 20 boxes in the case, right? It seems right. So for every 40 boxes, or I'm, I'm not sure if they got lucky with the one, but I probably got like a case worth. So I thought about just ripping it, but it's just a lot more fun with you guys because I would love for one of you guys to hit it. To hit it. It'd be so sick. I got you, Dominator, for sure. Uh-oh, he says the mantle. Oh, hobbyist. Crosby is... is uh. Is doing the mojo. Okay. That's cool. Rookie of the year. Sandy Olimar Jr. David Justice franchise. Well, I love the inserts in this. Definitely dominate. I'll do a pack for you. And then any, uh, if there's like a star or something when you're there, I'll get the shipping also for like, you know, I'll ship it out in a card for you. Well, I'd love to get the Messina out of this. Roger Clemens. K-Man. Eric Davis. I'm guessing if the auto happens, it's going to be in the middle of the pack. Dave Henderson, great athletic. Her Winningham. I'm guessing it's going to be in the middle. Uh, probably the 94 tops that you're going to see we're getting ready to do next. And then next go around, I'm probably gonna I'll probably upload some different stuff on there too. That's cool. Ryan Sandbrain, Rook Man of the Year. That's a cool card for any Cubs fans.
I remember these, the big head, Bobby Bell big head, that's sweet. Jose Gonzalez, Ernest Riles. All right, here we go. Five packs. It's almost like you can see the transition, like this 94. It's almost like compared to like the earlier 90s stuff, it's almost like getting to be more modern. Still like, I know. I, I really wish you would have passed out there, though. I gladly, I gladly would have held your, your 94 tops. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's get, we want a black gold Jeter. Even this the Jeter Prospect card, period. And or a top ref, any kind of any of the refinest cards would be great. I remember these are sticking a little bit. Didn't rip anything off. It's just there you go. Got Mike Benjamin. that. Draft pick. I'm not sure if Jeter has a single draft pick card in this. I don't think he does. I think he just has a uh I think it just has the four-way in it. Tartable. There's a gold card, Kevin Young. Nice. Let me gingerly see if there's another card back here. Uh, uh, coming in. I thought maybe hit the Jeter too. But this is sweet. Centered. Sharp. Very nice card. This is what I mean. Something like, eh, the back's not quite as centered. But still, this is getting a top loader. Getting a toppy. Nice Griffey. All right, takes care of pack number one. Only one top scroll card in that pack. Sometimes I saw like two of them and some of the other ones I did. You need a big name gold card, probably the Jeter. That's got to be the chase card in this. And some of these, some of these top finest cards were sick. They look nice too. They look like newer, like refractors you might get. Kevin Ori on back. Junior Ortiz. It's a Hank Aaron insert card. Forgot about these. Gingerly take off. Okay, cool. Remember these cards? 20th anniversary of 715. Huh, this is a weird uh the cut this one's cut. This is almost just a cool. Luckily, it's not like the Jeter Gold car, but you can see, like, from the machine, the machine, like, perforated there. It's kind of neat. Mickey Morandini. Hmm. 
Some of these are worse than others. Danny. Pascal. Here's a Topps Gold card. Sprague. I wonder what year they started actually numbering the gold cards. This is like one of the first years they had the gold card like in every pack. Another Hall of Famer. Uh, that's a cool card. Look who's sliding into them. That's neat. That's an awesome card. Uh, Nolan Ryan with 68 tops. No, go. You got it. Zelda? No, not here. Yeah, that was neat. Cracker time has left the building. That's the neither draft pick. Yeah, I don't know why Jeter wouldn't get his own. He's on a four way card here. That's strange. It's a nice Kevin Griff. No, not not a sixty-eight. You check out Missouri cards for the repacks he does. He definitely has sixty-eight. You have to fight Quato for him though. Look at that. In the window. In the window. It's probably not going to be gold though, because it's the first card. Take this out carefully. In the window. Griffey in the window. This, this one comes right off. Let's see how this one is. Same on front. You better on back? Ah, uh, yeah. That's funny. That's centered better, isn't it? Here's the first one with the eye doctor. Here's your first one. And there's the second one. This one, this one's centered better, isn't it? This one looks more mint because of that. I don't know. I mean, you might want to send. I don't know. So this one, I don't know. That's nice. Two Griffies. That's not bad. Which one was gold? I see a Thomas up next, though. Thomas insert card. Measure of greatness. Joe Orsalak. Come on, good black card. Our leader. How's Joey Cruz? Oh, that sucks. Your gold card is a Wayne Gomez. I've been sick. Chris Gwynn. Tony Gwynn's brother. Kenny Rogers Chicken. Mike Perez. David Justice is talking about him. There's a card on back. There's just sucks these are sticking together so bad. It's not affecting the cards, it's just a pain. It's a nice horizontal justice. I always hated putting those in, in binders, though, because the card was not a... Uh, yeah, you wanted to see it. And then, like, here, to, like, turn, you turn your... They go in like this. It doesn't look as nice. All right, two packs left. Two packs left.
There's these, these like not sticking at all. It's crazy. Uh, Ruben Sierra is one of my favorite players back in the day. Charlie Hayes put me in coach. Dax Winslet. Gold card, Tom Craver. All right, one pack of 94 left. All right, man, let's hit this Jeter. I don't have 84 down there. Check the uh, check the description. Anybody check the description and kind of see what's available. So Back uniform. This was Diamond Kings. That'd be worth something. Tim Salmon. Tim Salmon Cup card. It's kind of cool. Steve Reed. Tops Gold, Jeff Gardner. Jeff Gardner for the gold. Nice Greg Maddox. Pete Smith. There you go. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Donovan Osborne. Casey Whitten. It's one or two cards. It says two cards. That's fine. Danny Cox and former Oriole Leo Gomez. Cool. Well, nothing too crazy. A couple of Griffies, a couple of Hall of Famers. This one Griffey looks real nice because the centering is money. It's funny, like even in '94, the centering could have, is like a little was a little bit off. The centering here, the left to right centering, right, left to right here versus this one is more like is way better centered on back. It's cool, two cool Griffies. Awesome, man. Thank you. We'll be doing this again. Soon, I'm going to add some more stuff, maybe like some more like vintage auctions or stuff. Just try to keep it real friendly and light and affordable. You can have fun, and it's always fun watching this stuff get broke and look for something cool. You still with us, Crosby? So you just got what five packs? And hobbyist, do you know Jeff? Do you want us to send him the eight directly, or do you want us to add it and I send it to him? Okay, cool. So I'll put in the chat here. It should be 11.50 before grading. Right? Five packs. The big shipping, five packs, and then 
Come on, Ryan Express. Huh. Okay, cool, perfect. Crosby either fell asleep or he went somewhere else. I'm going to get you that 91 Dominator. We're going to see if we get you that Ryan autograph. I might buy it from you, though, on the spot. I don't know. That'd be crazy. It looks like I don't have 91 out here. All right, I'm hanging tight. Let me grab, let me grab a little bit of the 91. I got 90 upper deck over there. Any Ryan? So they had two different versions of this. They had ninety one find the Aaron. They had randomly inserted Hank Aaron autographs. And then they had this one with Nolan Ryan. So you're looking for, and they actually had like random, uh, like Nolan Ryan insert, like a special series. Out of unlucky. All right, here we go. Make sure you get hobbyist stuff in his pile. Richard Moore, there we go. Got Eddie's over there. Perfect. All right. All right. Good luck. Hopefully, it's shared with this pack, man. Tim Leary, Yankees. Oh, it's a Ranger pitcher. But not Ryan, Bobby Witt. Got one of my Orioles, Greg Olson, awesome closer. He's upside down. Hang on, these go upside down like this. Uh, love these pictures. These logos here. You can put them on your uh, on like the boxes and the teams. Asher's thing is cool. Bill Wedgman. Wally Whitehurst, Dave Ricchetti, Mike Harkey. Come on, let's get at least let's get a name in here. Howard Farmer, Saint Lamar Jr. That's a cool card. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I think, hang on. Ha, 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 ha. Give me a little bit happy. It's going to take to the very last card. Willie McGee. Randy Milligan, not a great Oriole. Upper deck was so sweet. These cards are so sweet, so classic. Uh -oh. Daryl Hamilton, you ready, Dominator? You ready? Yeah. 
Here you go, man. Baseball Heroes, Nolan Ryan's first win. 1968, victory number one. Right there in the middle, all shaking his hands. Happy Nolan Ryan in the middle. Armed with an explosive and oftentimes wayward fastball, Nolan Ryan. First to many milestones, April 14th, 1968. Awesome, man. Email me your uh, address, and I'll throw this in a card for you. And mail it out. Yeah. All right, Dominator. So email me your address. I'll put this aside for you. I'm going to throw this in a card and mail it out to you. These will go on my never ending kind of commons pile. That's cool. You cannot go wrong with Orion's PC. That's for sure. You cannot go wrong. All right, guys. I think I might take like a half an hour break unless somebody else wants anything. I'll give it like a minute or two for response. I'll probably be back about 11, do like another hour or so. Maybe Crosby would be back. Looks like he wanted some 89. Unless someone's getting ready to go to bed or anything and wants to do a pack or two. If not, I will see you guys at 11. If anybody wants to jump back in. Intermission. All right, guys. I'll start a new, I'll start a new stream back at 11.